Welcome to the Introduction to Humeo video series. This is our seventh and final video in this series aimed at introducing you to Humeo log management. In this video, we will discuss programmatic ways of working with Humeo. We have both an application programming interface, or API, as well as a command line interface, or CLI. These are useful for both standardization and automation. We offer at least three programmatic ways to interact with Humeo. Traditionally, we've offered our REST API. We are in the process of migrating most of our API to GraphQL. Last, we have Humeo CTL, our command line interface. Let's look at each of these closer. I will show you a little bit of the functionality of each of the three methods, and that should get you started. First up, the REST API. You can find the docs for the REST API at the link listed here. I've also posted a simple example of one of our health check APIs in action. To work with the Humeo API or CLI, you will need an API token. This is not the ingest API token associated with the Humeo repository. This token is associated with your user login. Let's log in to a Humeo instance so that we can dive deeper. To show the token we're using, you go over here to your user ID, go to manage your account, go to account settings, and grab that token there. bring a command line and we'll type in our first curl request. Simply hit the input and pass it a token and that gives you a nice up-to-date on how your cluster is doing. Now let's look at the search functionality. We'll use a group by. This is the same group by that you use when working with the Humio web interface, but we're passing it as part of a request. Similar to the last one, just hit the sandbox repository query endpoint and pass it a query string and the time span. And there it gives you a count of all the different user IDs. That's it for the REST API. Now let's look at GraphQL. Humio has chosen GraphQL for our main API because we believe it offers significantly more functionality for API clients. GraphQL allows you to precisely specify the data you require, which allows you to call a single endpoint to get everything you need. This makes creating integrations and clients for Humio much easier. Simply submit queries to retrieve data, and mutations to modify the data, and you don't need any special tools to use GraphQL. GraphQL is based on HTTP, and all you need is curl to send requests. Responses are returned as JSON. But we do have tools built in with huge, each Humio instance. is an interactive API explorer. You can find it at the link specified here. Just change the server and port to match your environment. You can also use projects like the GraphQL Voyager project to represent any GraphQL API as an interactive graph. So we will go into the API Explorer and show you a query and a mutation. It comes with a nice help screen and it has a nice type ahead for as you start typing, which you'll see. So look for a query. Go to the Accounts object and look for Username. And that'll bring back all the accounts. If this user logged in did not have permission to see this schema, then it would return an error. Now let's look at a mutation. I need to set this one up a bit. If I go back to my Humio instance, and go into my sandbox repository into the settings page. Notice there's a thing for event forwarding, but I don't have one created, and the way you currently do that is through the API Explorer in GraphQL. I have a query all set here. I'll copy and paste over.
And notice I call mutation to create a Kafka event forwarder, the name and description and the topic, as well as the bootstrap server specified. When I run it, I get a success with an ID that it's been created. Go back to Humio, Sandbox, Settings, Event Forwarder, and now I can add a forwarding rule, and there's my Sandbox Forwarder. Now let's look at Voyager. What I need to do here is change my schema to get the Humio schema. So I'll go into introspection, copy the introspection query, go back to my API Explorer. Then I copy the results of this. put it back into Voyager. And that is the Humio GraphQL schema laid out in graphical format. Last up, the Humio command line interface. Humio can also be controlled via an easy-to-use command line interface called Humio CTL for short for Humio Control. This application takes commands in, this, in a Unix shell just like any other command line interface would do. And we'll show you that now. Type in Humio CTL if I don't know what I'm looking for and it will bring up a nice interactive help. From there I can do Things like Humio status. If I would type right. List the repos. You get the idea. That's it for this intro series. and it should get you started with Humio Log Management. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos from Humio.